Well, good afternoon. Um, today is April 27th, Monday, and we are another day into uh, shelter at home. And um, I don't even know how many days I've been doing this, uh, but I hope that I can be of an encouragement here today for anyone who is watching and joining in. Today is uh, Memorization Monday, so um, I'm just trying to give uh, what our fighter verse is, what our church's memorization verses are for this week, and then maybe a brief encouragement to you as you work on Bible memorization. So today's Bible memory, or this week's Bible memory passage is Lamentations 3, 21 through 23. And it says this, But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I'm sure that many people are familiar with that, uh, those verses. Uh, if you've grown up in church, you've heard uh, the song, Great is thy faithfulness, O God my Father. And it comes from this passage of scripture. Uh, and it's a, it's a great encouragement. It's meant to be an encouragement, but do you know the context of those words? This is what I want to talk about today with regards to Bible memory. Context. That sometimes we can memorize verses or get verses in our head and we think they're saying something and we're missing the broader picture. And so like with Lamentations 3, 21 through 23, just think of the name of the book that it comes from. Lamentations. Lament. These verses actually are found towards the center, the absolute center of this book. And surrounding this book, before and after, is sorrow upon sorrow upon sorrow because there are problems, because, uh, because they have been, the people have been led away to captivity. They feel as though God has forgotten them and rejected them. This is the worst sorrow that they have experienced. And in the midst of all of this sorrow and all of this pain, Jeremiah says, but there's, there's this thing I'm going to call to mind. And therefore, I'm going to have hope. He's going to defy all the difficulties with this. God's steadfast love never ceases. That's the nature of steadfast love. It will not change. It's steadfast. Therefore, he even praises God in the midst of his lament. You know, sometimes... Uh, when people go through hardships, or when we're going through hardships like this, we can forget the goodness of God. We can forget the faithfulness of God. And knowing the context of this memory passage can be very helpful. Let me give you one other example. I, I, I know I grew up hearing so often people say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rejoice in today because God made today. Now, theologically, that's accurate. But you know, that's not the context of that verse. Right before this verse, that, that's actually from Psalm 118. So you go check it out at some point in time. But Psalm 118, starting in verse 22, I'll, I'll read actually starting in verse 21, says, I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. What's he talking about? We know that the verses right before this, the stone that the builders rejected, is actually prophetic words that's brought up in the New Testament as referring to Jesus Christ and how people rejected Jesus, and yet Jesus is our salvation. This is the Lord's doing. It's marvelous in our eyes. And so... This is the day that the Lord has made? Is talking about the day of salvation through Jesus Christ. I'm going to rejoice in that. I'm going to rejoice in him and in his message. If we can, if we can rejoice in him and his message in the midst of that bleak circumstance, then clearly we can rejoice in every day because God is our salvation. So in Bible memory, remember context. So that's why I want to encourage you. You know, again, I use the Fighter Verse app, which just, let's see if you can see that, which looks like this. That does not help. <laughs> um, 
But in the Fighter Verse app, it even has in here a button to be able to read the surrounding verses. Um, even gives a little devotional if you want to read the devotional so that you really understand what is the verse saying. So again, this week's verse, Lamentations 3, 21 through 23, I hope you'll join me in memorizing it. And on Thursday, I will quote it to you, Lord willing, by memory.